Hello everyone. Ooh, I'm blurry. That's better. Today I want to discuss how you can calculate your caloric intake and your macro breakdown for specific purposes or different goals. So your total daily energy expenditure, which is your TDEE, is the most important bit of information you want to collect because when trying to figure out your numbers, um, well, this represents the total number of calories you burn throughout the day. To lose weight, you'll need to consume about 15 to 20% less than your TDEE. Um, and to gain weight or build muscles, you will need to consume about 5 to 10% more, so surplus. You can calculate your TDEE using the American Dietic, Dietic Association formula, which I have found to be the most accurate and it's the one that I really like to use the most. So today I am going to go through this with you so that you can then calculate your own um, calorie intake and numbers, macro breakdown. So I will go through it using my own numbers so that you can see what it look, looks like and hopefully you can then apply it for yourself. Step one is to calculate your um, BMR, so your basal metabolic rate. I guess I'm just going to write my own numbers down and then um, we can use that later on. So my height 168 times 6.25. Do this. Okay, um, so that is, I've wrote it down before, so I'll just read that out. Um, 160 SM is 1050. My uh, weight times 10, so you do your weight times 10, so like 600. Our age times 5, so my age, which is 26, times 5, which is, where is it? 130. Okay, 130. Okay, now we'll need all of these numbers. So now we're going to use these numbers. We're going to do 1050 plus 600 minus 130. And then that's when it gets a little bit different if you're a female. So for myself, I'll have to do minus 161. If you are a man, however, you would do plus 5 instead of 161. So this number would change if you are a man and it would change to plus 5. So that is a total of 1359. So that's my total. I will round it up so that it's easier for later. I'll use 1360. So 1360 is the amount of calories I would burn if I would do nothing all day long. So I'll just be lying there in bed and do absolutely nothing. This is the amount of calories my body would burn. So now we want to also include our activity level. So we want to do this times our activity level. And there's different numbers for that one. So um, if you're um, sedentary and you don't, you know, you don't do much during the day, you may be sitting most um, of the day because you have an office job or something like that and you don't really exercise, you're going to do 1 times 1.1. But if you're a really, really active person or an athlete or something, you, you may use um, times 1.525. So it depends where you're at. I'm going to put the numbers up on the screen. But for myself, so I used 1360, I'm going to use a moderate activity level, which means I'm going to do BMR, so this is my BMR, times 1.35, okay? So I'm doing 1360 times 1.35, and that gives me a total of 1836 calories. So if this is the calorie level, I would need if I want to stay at the same weight that I'm at. So if I want to not gain weight, not lose weight, I just want to maintain my weight, this is the amount of calories I would eat to maintain that weight. Okay, so that's the amount of calories. Again, if you want to lose weight, you would try and get um, 15 to 20% less than this. So you would deduct 15 to 20% of this number. If you want to gain weight, you will add five or 10% to that number. This is a really great um, place to start, but obviously it's still only a number. Like you will have to, you know, 
try it for a few weeks and see how you go and then adjust that number so it's not a number that you will keep forever like it will change your activity level will change everything will change but once you actually know yourself a bit better you have this basic number you try it you see how you go then you can adjust it and yeah hopefully get to know yourself and your body better and see what you need to do and how you need to adjust it to you know do the best out of it so now that we have the caloric number, which is 1836 calories, that's to maintain weight. And let's say that um, my goal is to maintain my weight. I'm happy at where I'm at. So this is what I'm going to use now to calculate the rest. So now we're going to start calculating our macronutrients. So you want to consume, uh, consume about one gram of protein per pound of your body weight. So I'm 60 kilos, which is about 130 pounds. So this is actually my amount of um, grams of protein I want to consume. So I want to consume 130 grams of protein per day. Now, 130 grams of protein, so one gram of protein, so one gram is four calories. So I need to do 130 times four to figure out how many calories of protein I will need, which is 520 calories. So my 130 grams of protein per day equal to 520 calories. So now I can deduct that from my um, total amount. Whoops, my phone is falling off. Put your back up phone. So 1836 calories minus 520 equal 1316 calories that I have left, which I can fill with fats and carbs. This amount, I don't worry too much about what I have of each of those, except that the only thing I'm really paying attention to is that um, even more so for female, just for the hormones, but even for men, that you have enough fats, so don't cut your fats off completely. You still want to have enough fats to be like in a healthy range, but really how you want to distribute your carbs and your fats is up to you. Like some people love to eat carbs, some people hate to eat carbs. It's really completely up to you how you want to break it down as long as you make sure that you still have a healthy amount of fats. So depending where your number is, so I have now, um, you know, a relatively high-ish or moderate number to work with, I can, you know, I can have a bit more fats and, and you know, enjoy a bit higher fat meals. So I could have 60 grams of fat in there and I would still be fine and have plenty of carbs left. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you calculate your calories and your macros. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, pop them down below and hopefully I can answer them in either a next video or just in the comments, depending on how complex your question is. Have a lovely day.